KSPG Automotive Group, or Colbin Schmidt Pierberg, as some of you may remember them, before they simplified their name, is a global automotive supplier. Recently, I got a chance to talk with their chairman and CEO, Dr. Gerd Kleinert. He explained how the new fuel standard has changed certain components. The difference between the past and today is that these pumps are either driven by electromotors or variable pumps. That means you really pump your water, your oil, or you generate your vacuum when you need it, and not all the time by driving a water pump with your belt of the engine. In this case, we drive the water pump with an electromotor, and this means cooling on demand. You just turn it on when you need cooling, and you turn it off when you don't need cooling, and this saves fuel. KSPG's motto is lean and clean, and its fully variable valve timing system, called Univalve, falls under the lean strategy. With the Univalve type, you can run even idle speed without a throttle body. So this is really a perfect system. Um, we put this system on an existing standard engine and the fuel saving was immediately around about 10%. So you can imagine what kind of potential you have on a gasoline engine for further fuel saving. Dr. Kleinert explains how KSPG's EGR and cooler system can help reduce emissions. The influence on the combustion process in the internal combustion engine. If you feed back exhaust gas uh, to your manifold and feed it back to the engine again, then it's uh, working like an inert gas. That means your temperatures are coming down and that's the reason why the NOx production is much lower. And the colder your uh, gas you feed back is, the better is the effect. That means the lower the uh, peak temperatures in the combustion chamber, in the combustion chamber, um, so better for NOx emissions. Many of you will remember when both EGR and variable valve timing systems were introduced. The EGR was controlled by manifold vacuum and admitted exhaust gases back into the intake manifold. There was a time when variable valve timing systems only phased one camshaft. It makes me wonder what other component changes we'll see by 2025. Reporting for AutoLine Daily, I'm Sean McElroy.